Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and today we are making the... I gotta open my eyes. The root beer floats. How many times are we gonna do this? I don't know, but let's do it again. This time, I think we've done cat bat at daddy root beer float, root beer float, intoxicating root beer float, or toxic root beer float, or big root beer, I don't know. Whatever, it's another one. This one has vanilla vodka. We're using three olives. And, whoa, geez, pinnacle whip. That is whipped vodka, whipped cream vodka. Specifically a vodka that I would not even have a freaking clue to know how to infuse myself. It's got whipped cream in it. How does that work? I don't know. We're going to top it with five ounces of mug. So we have an ounce and a half of both of these. I'm gonna put it in a cons glass. Um, I was curious. I don't think I need to whip it. I, I don't think I need to do anything shaking wise. So I'm gonna put the mason shaker over here. And I'm going to build it in a Collins glass. Just like I would a real root beer float sans ice cream. Here's my ice cream right here. It's vanilla vodka. One and a half ounces. Do, do. Go, 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 go. Hope I have a one and a half ounces in here. This is the vanilla vodka from the very second episode we ever did. Martini. The chocolate martini. I think. Oh yeah. And this is from episodes long past, but not that long. See, I like these nice pours. That way you can go. Bah. Oh. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. This here. Done. Done. That's really full. That's okay. Done. Now, root beer on the top. And drink. Let's drink it up, drink it up. What? That's right, folks. That's how you make a root beer float with alcohol. Oh, this recipe submitted by Woodman717. No ice cream, which means you're sitting at home, you're like, I could really use a root beer float, but I didn't buy any vanilla ice cream. I've done this. And you're like, well, how do I solve this problem? Oh, obviously, alcohol. There we go. The aroma of root beer float has It has the initial taste and aroma of a root beer float with ice cream floated right on top. But the finish kicks you right in the throat. <laughs> it's definitely, it comes on comes on a little bit strong on the, uh, the, the finish. Plus I got a nice bendy straw, which helps suck the alcohol off the bottom. That's really weird. It has a very simple build but yet it tastes like a root beer float because it has everything you would need. It has the creamy vanilla flavor of a vanilla ice cream with burn. So if you can imagine a vanilla ice cream and maybe some Irish cream kind of poured on the top to get that al extra alcohol taste, but yet there's a lot of root beer in here for that amount of burn. I'm very surprised. I guess there's what, two, it's three ounces of vodka. That's, that's, a, that's a lot of vodka. That's a lot of vodka. I think three ounces of vodka in a single drink. If you, let's put it this way. If you went and you ordered Captain Morgan and Coke, do you think they're gonna put three ounces of Captain Morgan in your drink? No. They're gonna do an ounce, an ounce and a half, maybe. Sometimes you get those people who will think they're being nice and they'll add a, a couple extra ounces for you. And that's not, doesn't necessarily make anything better. It makes it taste a little too much like alcohol. And yeah, you're getting more for your money, but you're also burning out your face hole and all your paste buds. That's not good. And your liver is probably on. Oh, please. So there's a lot of badness that can come with that. Is this Friday? Yeah. So only, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no pants Friday? So it said it should be pantless then. I, That's only if Doug's here. Yeah, I, I, if I've done no pants Friday for a long time and I've never taken off my pants. It's only happened once in the show and it wasn't by me. And it was only like within the last month. I'm not a big fan of No Pants Friday where you actually take off your pants. Although I should change my shirt to be the, um, the shirts of awesome I don't need pants. My bad. It's Tito's week. <laughs> it's the only thing I'm not using this week actually. Um, 
So for No Pants Friday, this drink will do it for you. When you're <laughs> done, you, take your pants off? you will want your pants off and you'll be streaking the quad. Because this drink, <laughs> the first two or three sips, they had that alcohol burn. I've added a little bit of root beer. I haven't taken away any alcohol besides whatever I've already drank. And I'm not really getting a lot of anything. It's starting to, your 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 face is starting to adapt. Your palate's like, oh, mmm, root beer float, mmm. And you start forgetting that there's that burn at the end until all you taste is a root beer float. You do that, you drink the whole all thing. taste is sweet. You drink two of them. Pleasure. That's like, yeah, it's like a romance novel right there in a glass. It's, that would be, you know, if you drink two of these, you've just down six ounces of alcohol. And with the carbonation here, I say, I can finish that drink in under five minutes. And that, my friends, is quite dangerous. Because to drink, you know, three ounces of alcohol that you didn't know you were really drinking in five minutes, that's like three shots. <laughs> Somebody in the chat room is watching on their iPad and says, first time I go to bed with so many people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Thomas. So are, are, you, are you naked? <laughs> um, what do you look like? Send pigs. <laughs> pick or it didn't happen. Don't drink. Indeed. Yeah, you definitely don't want to drink and play Dungeons and Dragons. Paper dice, that's off when drinking. Although I was like 10 when, well, we were probably drinking and playing Dungeons and Dragons. I don't think so. Yeah, we were drinking like cases of Pete's Wicked Ale <laughs> or Wicked Cherry Wheat. We did anyway. that. That happened. Um, check out those if you want to, if, if you like the beautiful Ben's glass straws, <laughs> also Grace.com. That's the only way to D&D. Oh, I don't have a question of the day. You need a question of the day. I had a question of the day. I was thinking of it and I had a great one. Well, way to go. It will. It was while I was having my one of my rants that I came up with a, a great question, and it was unrelated to anything useful. Um, see, we've asked which. I, I was trying to go completely backwards. Fantasy or sci-fi? What do you like? You could say neither, but fantasy or sci-fi? Fantasy. For me, yeah, yeah. You're always kind of. I hate sci-fi. I don't do sci-fi. I, you know, and here's the funny thing. I don't like sci-fi books. I like reading about real cosmology in books. But when it comes to fantasy books, for some reason, I've just never got into the sci-fi aspect both of things. Both is that an option? Both is, both is an option. But if neither is an option, then both must be an option. Um, for some reason, sci-fi books never did anything for me. Fantasy books have been good. Fantasy movies, they're hit or miss. Sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they're not so good. I just sometimes started they're too Game of Thrones season. Game so. of Thrones. I, now I don't know if I'm supposed to go watch all those. Because it's fantasy, and it seems like something I should do. Question of the day number two. Should I be watching Game of Thrones on... What HBO? are we watching on it? Netflix? Well, no, it's I, I bought it on iTunes. So you Apple. bought this? So I have to watch it. We paid for it. We paid for it. So I should I'm watch it. I'm not going to rent it. That's retarded. No, I know. Renting is bad. Um, so what do you guys think? Yes, the, yes, yes, yes. The yes, chat yes, room yes, has yes, like it. 10 yeses, and that's only two people. Uh, Sci-fi... It's the same person. <laughs> Fantasy. It is the same person. Game of Thrones is awesome. Um, so, yeah, so there's so a lot of people saying yes. Pick your direction with that, and I'm going to see if I can remember the question of the day I was going to ask you guys, because it was going to be awesome. I swear. It's going to be really good. That's it. This is dangerous. That's really dangerous. All right. Every day, I can just sick, suck on this. You know like, what? Like a, like We're a, teaching you how to drink. Like a drink. Like one of those, like a bib. No, bubba. No. A bottle. Bubba mug? Mm. We're teaching you how to drink.